Governor Jim Pillen visited Good Samaritan Village in Hastings as a way to continue his support for senior citizens. This is on the heels of the Biden administration's minimum staffing level proposal for nursing homes. Local 4's Leroy Triggs joins us in studio with more. Brandon, the proposal would require each nursing home to have a registered nurse on, uh, on site around the clock. Other requirements are 33 minutes of RN care per resident, approximately two and a half hours of care from nurses aid, maintain a staff to ratio, staff to resident ratio, and undertake an expanded assessment of the facility 60 days after the rule is finalized. Nationwide, less than 20% of nursing homes have 24 seven RN coverage. 94% of facilities are not currently meeting at least one of the proposed requirements and nursing homes would need to hire 102 additional nurses and nurse aides. The Samaritan Society CEO Nathan Shima says they have over 135 open positions in Nebraska alone. He also shares his opinion on having a registered nurse on site around the clock. We believe one common sense solution is to be able to meet that virtually. Uh, we're all so adept at technology and having virtual care solutions. So uh, that would be one example of, of something that we think that can uh, make the rule a little bit stronger. Shima says there also needs to be a way to help increase workforce numbers because there just simply isn't enough. Governor Pillen says the state is working to get up to $37 million in Medicaid reimbursement this year and $130 million next year to ensure Nebraska gets its fair share of federal aid. Adding, he even fought back on the notion that all in-home care must have a registered nurse 24-7. Hey, you have to understand what's going on in Nebraska. You have to understand the registered nursing shortage, and you have to understand how vital it is. And, you know, I think we lost eight eight assisted, maybe 10 homes during the pandemic, we can't lose more. And uh, so we're working across the way to try to limit the government infusion. Governor Pillen gives praise to the community of Red Cloud, saying it's awesome to see them roll up their sleeves and save their assistant living facility. He says the community of Red Cloud is an example of how communities can come together and find solutions to their problems. Pillen also says wherever the state can help them with reimbursements, they will. And because it's still a proposal, full details are have not yet been decided. Brandon, back to you. Thank you very much, Leroy.